Okay, so we're going to do an important concept check before we move on to some of our uh, calculus ideas. The question that we want to take a look at is, can 0 be divided by 0? Okay. Eventually we want to be able to discuss what is 0 divided by 0 and what does it equal? And I use that word a little hesitantly, that's why it's in quotes. Um, so the question is, which rule should we apply? I mean, it's not that obvious. So, for example, we have a rule in math that says when you have something divided by itself, it should be equal to 1. So that's how we know things like you know, 3 divided by 3 is 1, negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. That's one of our rules that we use. Uh, we have another rule that says if you have a 0 in the numerator divided by something, 0 divided by anything is 0. We have another rule that says if you have a zero in the denominator, anything divided by zero should be undefined. So these are three rules we might be tempted to apply. The problem is all three of these, as written, are missing one very important addition. All three of these rules come with this added idea. If A doesn't equal zero. None of these rules work if A does equal zero. And that's exactly what we're looking at. So when, if you want to deal with that, you've got to change up what rule you're going to use. But we can start with these and see why they're true. Okay? So for example, 21 divided by 7, 21 over 7 equals 3. That's not news to us. But why? The reason is because 7 times 3 is equal to 21. That's what we refer to in math as the division algorithm. So if we apply this to our three rules, we can kind of see where this is going to lead us. Okay, so for example, the reason a divided by a is equal to 1, as long as a isn't 0, is because when you take a times 1, by this multiplication idea, anything times 1 should give you that a. Okay, so that's why that rule works. The reason 0 divided by a is 0 is because a times 0 is always 0. The reason why a divided by 0 is because if you try to take 0 times something, what are you supposed to multiply it by to get it to be equal to a? That never happens. So therefore, a divided by 0 is going to come out undefined, again, assuming a isn't equal to 0. So what does that have to do with 0 divided by 0? Well, now the question is, According to the division algorithm, this says 0 times what gives you 0? Well, 0 times pretty much anything gives you 0. That could be anything. It could be 0. It could be 9. It could be negative 6. It could be 1 fourth. We have no idea. So in other words, we don't know what 0 divided by 0 is. Unless you think I've led you down a long path where the answer is we don't know, that's actually an important thing in calculus. This is what we refer to as an indeterminate form. When you work with a limit and you come up with 0 over 0 while you're calculating that limit, it's called an indeterminate form. And what that means is the answer can't be determined as long as you're looking at the question in its current form. In other words, if you want to find the answer, you're going to have to change the form of the question, because right now you can't do 